I scored seven nice fresh clean pellets the other day so I whipped them home and turned one of them or two of them into this. This is a custom cabinet for my new little kitchen, my galley, which is very compact. For doing this kind of work all you need is rudimentary tools. It speeds things up if you've got some power tools. I've got a skill saw, a real heavy duty belt sander and a nice orbital sander. Also you've got to have some PVA glue, some screws and nails. Um, for drilling holes close to the end of the pieces of wood you'll need an electric drill. You'll need a square and a tape measure. I've also got a pneumatic uh, stapling gun so I can fire nails into it and not have to risk bruising it with the hammer. And once you've made your cabinet you can oil it up. This is purchased stain but in the past I've actually made stain from white spirits and shoe polish and it comes out just as good as genuine stain and costs an awful lot less. So this is a very rustic little kitchen cabinet that I've made to fit a benchtop oven and I'll put a little gas hob on top of it. It's normal bench height, so I put an upstand at the back so uh, food scraps don't fall down the back. I'm leaving the back open so that uh, any heat build up from the oven underneath can dissipate. This is what I call 50% sanded. I haven't uh, left it rough sawn. I've sanded it until 50% of the saw marks are left and 50% of it is sanded flat. I use an 80 grit, so that's rough as. But I like this rustic look for little cabinets. I've made lots like this in the past. I've made little treasure chests and birthday presents for people. And of course, you can even use the nails that came out of the pallet when you uh, dismantled the pallet. Put a good coat of stain onto it and then you'll get an old rag and uh, rub the excess off and that gets rid of any brush marks and build ups. I'm going to oil the top of this because it's going to see uh, water splashes and things like that. I'm going to be using tongue oil which is an extract from the tongue tree. The tongue tree is a native of Cambodia and Thailand but it grows uh, all throughout the southern United States as well. Can't tell you any more about it, I'm sorry. But it's a good quality oil for furniture. It's got a nice smell to it. And uh, as with anything that you've oiled, especially if it's in the sun through a window or out on a deck, it needs um, re-oiling every year. You could make little planter boxes, you could make kids um, playhouses, small items of furniture, plant stands out of this. They make awesome presents. People seem to be really chuffed when you um, present them with something that you've made for them and it's a one-off. <laughs>